Hi friends, welcome to um, another video um, where my goal here is to provide a forum to help people to use Law of Attraction in their daily lives simply but effectively. Um, today I want to talk about using negative emotion to get what you want. Um, I know when I first saw The Secret by Rhonda Byrne, I was panicked about every negative thought that I had. I was also panicked about how many negative thoughts I had. Um, you know, The Secret definitely opened our eyes and, and made us aware that we are powerful creators now we need to know what to do with that. Um, we really need to know if you're like me, I gotta, I gotta analyze everything. I gotta break it down. I need you to show me step by step how to do this. Um, it's been a long process, you know, knowing about the law of attraction and just trying to figure out how to apply this in my life. So um, there's three key factors that I want to discuss um, talk you know when it comes to using negative attraction to get what you want key number one feel it do not try to stuff your emotions or you know pretend like you don't have any negative emotions or just fake it to the point that you know you're not even acknowledging when something is bothering you um, you're inviting yourself to just become a pressure cooker <laughs> and explode. Um, you can't run from negative emotion and you can't squash it. Negative emotion has a purpose. It's a loving guide to actually show you through contrast what you do want. Um, so if you can find the message that the negative emotion is trying to give you, you and be grateful for that, you automatically have shifted now from hopelessness to hope. You're, you've already shifted into a higher vibration when you can do that. Um, and when you do that, pat yourself on the back and give yourself credit for even having the awareness of what the negative emotion is trying to um, show you or tell you. So for example, um, you know, you get fired from a job, you know, are you sad? Are you mad? Um, are you hopeless? Do you feel like a failure? What is it that's important to you? Um, you know, do you need to um, be a contributing member of society? Um, do you need other people to give you accolades? Um, do you need to be rewarded? And when you're, um, you know, when you lose a job, is that a huge blow to uh, where you find your value? And it's okay if it is. Just acknowledge it, you know. That way you know what you want. Um, you know, are you just afraid that you're not going to be able to pay your bills now and you're going to be homeless? Okay, so if that's the case, then you know that you want security. You know that you want to be able to have financial independence. Um, so see the want in that and shift your focus. Do not ask yourself um, negative questions, you know, like what's wrong with me? You know, if you ask yourself what's wrong with you, um, your subconscious mind is going to, because it's always working for you and it only says yes. So if you're asking yourself what's wrong with me, your subconscious mind is going to be constantly showing you what's wrong with you. Um, you know, so you want the security, 
focus on that. Focus on that. Um, say you manifested a, a breakup, you know. We know that we all want companionship. We all want love in our lives. We all want someone to love us. You know, we want to love somebody. Um, but, you know, is it more than that for you? You know, are you just afraid of being alone? You know, if you... If you just manifested a breakup and, and that's your concern, then I, I encourage you here as well to shift your focus and actually pat yourself on the back because you do have an enormous opportunity for growth here because if you're just afraid to be alone, then you got some self-esteem issues that you don't have confidence in yourself. So... Again, that's an enormous opportunity for growth. You have an opportunity here to learn to love yourself. And once you do that, then your next relationship, you'll just be um, two healthy or healthier people contributing to each other's lives. You're not at that point looking for someone to give you what you are giving yourself. Um, the second key to using negative emotion to get what you want is to stop trying to control or foresee how you're going to get it. You know, a lot of us don't allow ourselves to dream big because we can't possibly see how we're going to get that, you know, from where we're at. Um, my life has changed drastically since the last video. My environment has totally, totally shifted. Um, I'm in disbelief, honestly, every day almost of how great my life has become. Um, and it wasn't because I hit the lottery or had some huge windfall. If I had been waiting for my life to change when I hit the lottery or some distant relative died and left me a bunch of money. I'd still be where I was at. You know, I simply focused on what I wanted and then I trusted, you know, God, the universe and my subconscious mind to do what they do best and um, allowed them to bring it to me through opportunities that I never would have guessed. I never would have thought about. So, you know, I don't have the um, psychic power to predict the future, so I don't. Um, I let the universe take care of that for me, and I allow um, the gifts that are out there. And I believe that they're coming. I know that I know that I know that they're coming. Um, you know, I recently had a job interview that I did terrible on. I was totally unprepared for this interview. <laughs> and I did not get this job. And it was a well-paying job. It was a good opportunity. Um, and I bombed. Now, I could have let that defeat me. I could have said, um, you know, well, I guess I'm just not good enough for a job like that. Or m most people will say something like, oh, you know, those interview questions are dumb or, um, I'm not doing that again. That's stupid. You know, their ego won't let them take responsibility for the, for the failure. Um, what I did instead was say okay I was unprepared for that what did I learn how will I do it differently in the future and I prepared myself and said I will never let that happen again and just this morning I had a really great interview it was the same kind of interview but I was prepared this time and I'm going on to the second stage of a really well-paying job. So, um, you know, I'm excited about that. But I used the negative 
emotion or negative experience to teach me. Um, the third key, don't talk about it. The cost is very high for pity parties. If you've got something going on in your life or the um, totality of your life is in a negative place right now, don't keep talking about your problems. Don't find people that are going to co-sign um, everything that's wrong with your life and, and what a victim you are. You know, things still happen to this day. You know, I just had something last week. Somebody said something that really hurt my feelings. It was hard for me not to tell my best friend about it, you know, but I'm not going to talk about negative emotion or negative things. I'm not going to give my energy to that because not only are you giving your energy to it, now you're inviting other people to give their energy into it as well. That's the kiss of death, you know. Um, the Bible says life and death are in the tongue. And, you know, law of attraction speaks about or teaches us that, you know, what we speak about, we bring about. So um, don't invite others to put their energy in it as well. Talk about the good things. Only the good things. And there is something good in your life. Even if you think everything's negative right now, the good thing is, is that the negativity is teaching you something and the negativity through contrast is showing you what you do want. If you're seeing the results of everything that you don't want, there's an unfulfilled desire there. There's probably many unfulfilled desires there. What are they? Give yourself credit for having that awareness. And then focus on that, you know, every day now as a habit, as a daily intentional habit, I wake up and I say, today is going to be a great day. Because I do that, um, I'm able to go to bed at night saying today was a great day. You know, I lay in bed at night and I think about all the good things that happened during my day and every day literally every day now in my life I have a positive beautiful wonderful experience it's possible this is real you know that's that's why I'm doing this because I'm a real person applying the law of attraction in my real life and I'm seeing results you can too. Um, thanks again for um, checking out my video. Like, comment, let me know if there's something you want to talk about. Um, in my next few upcoming videos, I have um, more topics like this I'm going to be expounding on, but um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. All right, until next time.